Hey Jimmy, nice to see you again. Hey Julie, looks like I'll be seeing you around. Hey Joey, let's go in the classroom to talk. Hey Edgar, what did you do this summer? I just got back from Africa last night. I went to go do my internship at a women's clinic for public health and helped deliver babies. What about Ebola? Have you gotten tested? Well, they conducted a screening test on all the passengers at the airport. Good evening, passengers. Just as a quick reminder, once we land in California, the same screening test of taking your body temperature will be done again. Remember, if your temperature is 100.4 degrees, they will ask for you to get further testing. Ebola is very dangerous, and we must conduct these screening tests at every airport. When they checked my temperature, they said it was at 100 degrees. But I am going to get tested after school to make sure I am okay. Hello, Edgar. I am Dr. Smith. What brings you in today? I went to do an internship in Africa over the summer, and I just wanted to have a physical exam to make sure I don't have Ebola. I understand your concern. I will examine you to ensure you that your health is in a stable state. Good news, Edgar. All the results came back negative. You have nothing to worry about. I'm so happy the test came back negative. So, did you get tested for Ebola? I sure did. I went to the doctor yesterday after school, and he said that I tested negative for Ebola. He said that I have nothing to worry about. Oh my God! Did you hear what Joey and Edgar were just talking about right now? Edgar said that he went to the doctor yesterday to get tested for Ebola. Oh my, that is horrible. Does he know what will happen to all of us if he truly is positive? Edgar. Yes, Julie. I'm sorry, but I just overheard you talking to Joey. And if you think you may have Ebola, me and my peers don't think it's a good thing if you come to school anymore. What? Are you serious? I just went to the doctor to make sure I didn't have Ebola. And guess what? The doctor told me I do not have Ebola. That's why I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm just a little worried because Ebola is something serious. I understand, but I can assure you that I do not have Ebola. We have to warn the others. Hey, all! I need to tell you guys something really important. I overheard Edgar telling Joey that he got tested for Ebola. I'm just here to warn you all. Be very careful. So me and Julie just overheard that Edgar got tested for Ebola. So I suggest you all keep your distance. I'll see you later. Be careful. Talk to you soon. Take care. Hey everyone, how's it going? Get away from here. We heard you have Ebola. Yes, Ebola boy. Get away from us. Yeah, Ebola boy. Leave. You guys are awful. I do not have Ebola. Hey Joey, I'm so glad you're still here. I keep getting bullied by our classmates about Ebola. In all honesty, I do not feel good. My stomach hurts and I may have a fever. That's horrible. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to go to the doctor right now to get checked again. Wish me luck. I have never felt this bad before. Maybe I do have Ebola. Code sepsis emergency room. Code sepsis emergency room. Hello, Edgar. I'm your nurse, Julie. The doctor wants to admit you to the hospital, but first I have to ask you a couple of questions. Have you traveled to Africa or came in contact with someone who has traveled to Africa in the last 21 days? I came back from Africa about a week and a half ago. I was there for the summer. Did you come in contact with anyone who had Ebola or flu-like symptoms and gastrointestinal problems while you were in Africa? I assisted a doctor deliver babies in Liberia. A couple of mothers came in very sick with symptoms like the ones you just mentioned. Does that mean I have Ebola? I don't know for sure, but the doctor will be in shortly. We will conduct more exams in order to properly diagnose you. Please be patient, Edgar. The test results are in. I am sorry to inform you, Edgar, but you do have Ebola. This is a serious disease, and mode of transmission is not yet fully understood. I need to know who you came in contact with. Those people might be at risk and need to get tested for Ebola as well. The only people I have come in contact with are my peers at school. Can you notify the school and let them know that they need to get tested? Of course, I will notify the school. For now, you must be kept in quarantine. Doctor, 
I do not understand why the first test came out negative and now it turns out I do have Ebola. Good afternoon class. I have an important announcement, so can I please have your attention. It's been confirmed by the president of CSU Northridge that Edgar indeed has Ebola. Ebola. Listen, I'm going to explain something very important and I need all of your attention. Edgar got tested for Ebola one week ago, and his test came back negative. However, when Edgar went back to the hospital for a second checkup he, then tested positive. This can be explained by a 2x2 two two table we use in epidemiology. So what I need for all of you to do is get tested as soon as possible, before you all go. Let me further explain what can happen when you go get tested for Ebola. When you all go get tested for Ebola, some of you are going to have the disease and test positive which will make you a true positive. However, some of you will not have the disease, but will test positive, which will make you a false positive. Now some of you, will not have the disease and test negative, which will make you a true negative. Now some of you will have the disease but test negative, just like Edgar which will make you a false negative. Hello everyone, as you know you are here because there has been an Ebola outbreak in your school. The most important cutoff point will be looking for is body temperature, meaning, if your temperature is higher than 100.4 degrees then more tests will be conducted. Some of the symptoms we are looking for include, Nausea, diarrhea, red eyes, stomach pain, chest pain and cough. If you are showing symptoms then we must proceed. The gold standard for Ebola is detection of characteristic virions with electron microscopy of infected tissue. Infection especially in the liver and blood. Remember, gold standard reflects the true diagnosis in a patient. Therefore these examinations will be more invasive and expensive. Good afternoon class. Today we will be discussing sensitivity and specificity, using the results from your fellow peers who went to go get tested for Ebola. The sensitivity of the test is defined as the ability of the test to identify correctly those who have the disease. Now the way we calculate sensitivity is by dividing our true positives by our true positives plus our false negatives and multiply it by 100. Now the way we calculate specificity is by dividing our true negatives by our true negatives plus our false positives and multiply it by 100. If we take a look at this table, out of the 100 students at CSUN 4 students who tested positive were true positives, and two students who tested negative were false negatives. Twenty students that tested positive are false positive, and seventy-four students that test negative are true negatives, as seen in the previous table. There were four true positives, which is then divided by six, the sum of true positives and false negative and multiplied by one hundred to calculate sensitivity. The sensitivity of this testing can be expressed as, out of those who have Ebola, 66% will test positive. To calculate the specificity of the testing for Ebola, we take 74 true negatives and divide it by the 94 the sum of true negatives and false positives and multiply it by 100. The specificity of the testing is expressed as, out of those that do not have Ebola, 78% will test negative. Positive predictive value is calculated by taking the true positives and dividing it by the sum of true positives and false positives and multiplying it by 100. Now to practice what we just learned, we take 4 true positive and divide it by 24 true positives plus false positive and multiply it by 100, and we get 16% which is interpreted as of those who test positive 16% will truly have Ebola. Now, we calculate the negative predictive value by taking the true negatives and dividing it by the sum of true negatives and false negative and multiplying it by 100. The negative predictive value for Ebola is calculated by taking 74 true negatives and divide it by 76 the sum of true negatives and false negatives and multiply it by 100. The negative predictive value is 97 percent, which means, that of those who test negative 97 percent truly do not have Ebola. I hope this lecture was helpful to better explain why Edgar tested negative the first time and was actually positive the second time.
I strongly recommend that you all get tested as soon as possible. That is all for today, as I have planned to end class early, to give you extra time to seek medical attention.